Hi. <laughs> what the heck is it? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that's all i know i i absolutely love this game so steve what have you been up to i know you i see a lot of stuff you've been to a lot of shows let's talk about yeah, that a little bit uh well some in some uh in-person things again which is great uh, new york now was in person and i was there last week and uh toy fair unfortunately is not happening this year so i'm kind of bummed about that so i've got like a a dozen or more zoom meetings to fill in for that uh, and I've been doing the game show. We had a, we did four more segments this past week, which will get released in the next four weeks. So I've been busy doing that as well. Um, I might be doing a, a live version of the game show for an upcoming trade show here in Miami. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, I just noticed I have this thing on here. I'm going to fix my setting. Yeah, my I want to know when this, uh, when your game show, what the heck is it? When that's going national? That's a, that's a pretty cool game show. I'm telling I you. Want that, well, you guys, you have all the connections. I Come know on. we're working on it. I, I've shown that to everybody. Oh, and then Steve, too, like, Steve had the jerks on NBC. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and you, oh, you yeah. showed that like absolutely perfect. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, did it, did it show up in sales? I, I'm yeah, not a lot. But we got some sales out of it. I mean, you know, a small segment, but we promoted it. But 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 again, it just was pretty cool. The whole segment, that whole show part of it, when you start showing all these products, really cool. I, I recommend anybody that you need products for should send them to you, definitely. And that was all shot on my iPhone, which is pretty Yeah, amazing. imagine that. I mean, well, that's I don't, what, what we what, live in now. That, was, that would have been uh, two years ago. That was unheard of. It's funny. We were just talking about technology, but I'm telling you, yeah, and it came out great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm always blown away that here you're shooting on on an iPhone and it's going on national television and it looks just like it. You know, it doesn't look yeah. cheesy. It looks like it belongs. So we we live in a pretty amazing world right now. What I what I can't believe is how quickly you get through each product. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That well, actually, you know what I think it is. I don't think it's the technology. I think it's Steve. Honestly, oh. it's the way he presents it, the way he shows it. It's his charisma. That's what it really is. Well, he's done a couple of these. I think he's We're done overstating the technology stuff. Well, you know, I, but I mean, I, I, and I've been on the Today Show for like 10 years now. So yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. But it's, it's a whole new world for me because it used to be always go to the studio, lay the stuff out. But before all that, he was a TV news reporter. So shooting a story in the field was sort of like my old wheelhouse. So now I'm kind of had to go back to bring those skills back up. In the in the new world, but uh, I think we're going to go back to the studio. I think my next Today Show segment will be back in the studio. I think. Wow, I hope so because they're canceling concerts again. I had a, I had backstage passes for Rob Thomas, I was, and we had Chris Trapper on earlier today, and they they're canceling Matchbox. They're moving it to the following year. So I, he said he's starting to get his live events got pushed out too. To so I don't know what's happening. It's too it's bad. Weird. I see things loosening up. Like I'm surprised Toy Fair didn't go live, but I think yeah. part of it is that in the case of Toy Fair, you know, if you haven't sold enough booths, right. it doesn't pay to do it. So I think it's it's somewhat about the vaccine, but it's more about the the economics. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's funny today, Steve. We asked Chris Landano. He seems to think he's really good at guessing what products are. So uh -huh. we, we we said, hey, we're going to do a little segment. On what the heck is it? We'll see how good he really is. I mean, Carmine got destroyed last time, so I it might go even, easy on him. It wasn't even close. <laughs> it was like i couldn't see well that's the next way we do it we don't even show the product we just have to start guessing without even looking at a product. that's the future that's the, the you know the uh the, the sensory deprivation version yeah. so, so steve's got all this this whirlwind experience right he used to be a, a, a on the ui board he's done a lot of a newscasting a lot of television what, what, what do you recommend if people are going to show you products? I mean, I know I, I always send you stuff. I, I know how to do it now. But <laughs> what, what do you need do for them to, to, <laughs> well, to, get, to get them on TV? To get them on TV. So it's been, if it's for the Today Show, don't send me something until I put up a, you know, follow me on all social media. And when I put up, like, I'm looking for back to school products, if your product fits into that, that's the time to hit me up. Because for me to get them now and then remember them is, like, right. not going to happen. So uh, as I get a segment, I post it and then, you know, then start and don't send me the product, just reach out to me. And if it's something, and basically from there, I put together a big document, give it to the producers, they pick what they want. And then I want the product sent to me, not before that. If it's for the game show, it's sort of the same thing in that, uh, that if you've got a mystery gadget, meaning you look at the product and you can't guess what it is, then uh, yeah, let me know about it. Send me a picture, send me a little blurb about it. And if it's a good fit, if it's got a little funniness to it, if there's something that looks like it's a good fit for the show, uh, I'll certainly keep it in mind. And of course, oh, 
don't, don't, think- don't submit a product to me unless you're already subscribing, watching the show and liking the show. If you haven't watched one or two episodes and you haven't subscribed, don't contact me. So that's my, my new mantra to that's all those. Great. great idea. Well, there you go, Chris. Don't send them your belt until you actually watch we, a show. We already we already spoke <laughs> about it. We already spoke about it because I owe Steve an invite to the Manhattan Inventors Club with the whole COVID. It's been crazy. But mm. I showed him I showed him my belt and he just said, oh, I don't think it's a fit. I appreciate that. Well, yeah, that, that belt I'd be able to guess. I could guess the belt. Because sometimes right. you look at them and you know what they are. So it's right. like you wear it. it's right. mystery quality to it that it's not really good for the game show. I need the belt. Right. Uh, something that's a wearable and you can tell that it, you wear it with buckles. I mean, that's a, a little bit more of a giveaway. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. I mean, it, it, just, it, it, it looks like what it is, which is great. And it's a terrific product, but it's not going to create a lot of discussion and confusion, right. which is what I'm right. going for. Right. Hey, right. Hey, hey, Steve, real quick <laughs> question. The, the group that you put together for your show, they're awesome. Oh, you know, it's, it's a bunch of friends they're for the funny. most part. I, and I try to, you know, I have a bunch of friends work in the comedy world. So whether they're writers, comedy writers, or they're actually stand-up comics, I try to bring them in because I'm trying to, you know, keep the show as, as light. Yeah, and, fun I, and I've been waiting for my invite. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I think we should do a whole round of just UIA, a UIA version of it. I'm, I love I'm, all, it. I'm all in. I'm all in. So we can make that happen. I'll be I'll the do host. It. I don't want to look bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's what, no, no. I keep the host gig so that I <laughs> look bad. I can't guess the stuff, so I better t- – being the host is, you know, the way to go. I look so, smart, and, you know, it, it's, it's easy to fool everyone that I know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, take all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> so, Steve, let's talk, about, let's talk about uh, Hoda for a minute and that show. I mean, I know you've known her for a long time. Let the audience know because she seems like a hot ticket. She seems like a, just a good-hearted person. So does Jenna. They all seem like cool people. But actually, I have to say everybody there – and it's not only them, because you know them from other things, but the, the, the floor manager, the, the camera guys, yeah. the makeup people. I mean, it's such a nice group of people that that's what I miss the most. I mean, I don't miss right. being in the studio. You know, it's just, it's just a piece of real estate. But I miss, you know, you know, having the makeup lady talk to me and you know, all, that, all that stuff, that interaction with those people that I've known for years. April, who you do the rehearsal with and does the setup with all the um, kind of like the day before to figure out what props they're going to need. You know, I've known her for 10 years. I've watched, you know, I've watched her go from a single girl to married. She's got a baby, you know, all of that stuff. And I feel like, you know, I miss seeing them. Hoda's a doll. She's been always very sweet to me. Uh, before Jenna was Kathy Lee Gifford. Right. And she was probably like my, my best connection. We just had a, uh, you know, we just like hit it off really well. Mm. Jenna, I'm still getting to know because frankly, she's been, I've done the show with her in person, maybe four or five times, but I don't know her as well as Hoda who I've known for years and years and years now. So. Yeah, right. Pretty cool. So what, what's the best product you, you've shown on that show? Or, or, oh, or a couple be, of the best products? Uh, the, the jacket purse. It has it to is. Be oh, oh, God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Come on. That wasn't even, I didn't even toss the softball out. It's like, oh, it's like, my. It's like going to the uh, parent-teacher conference and asking <laughs> Who's the best kid in the class? Your kid, of course, is the best kid in the oh, class. Oh, I would never do that with my youngest, ever. <laughs> but Chris, he didn't even hesitate. I mean, that's how oh, good he is. There was no delay, <laughs> nothing. No, that's See, Chris, funny. you feel how I work these things, Chris? You watching, taking notes? No. Like, he's Steve, down. Steve, he's down. Steve, the best episode was Kathy Lee. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I never can remember the name of that product. It was a travel <laughs> of course you can. of some kind. I, I, I blocked it. And I always tell a story where, you know, it was the thing where it had a little suction to the bottom of it. It was really, actually, a really smart design, like for an, an RV. So when you're driving around, it won't spill over. But she, I had them all there. I said, you know, you can't knock these over. They've got this. And she just took her hand and she just swiped it. And there were like 25 of them were flying all over the studio. And my phone is in my back pocket. It started vibrating a second and a half later as the guy who owned the company was like calling me like, you know, stop her, stop her. But <laughs> it was very, very funny. And actually that clip has had like a couple of million views on YouTube. <laughs> See, it's the bloopers. Here you she go, wiped them out. out or something. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> And you know, he you got, gotta, he probably you go got more sales. Go, 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 go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Like when a product goes on television, you know, you're like you're sticking your head out and you can be slapped or kissed. You know, it could be one of the other. So you gotta kind of take your chances a little bit. But truthfully, 
you can take a bad moment and you can turn it around. You can play up the embarrassment of it and use that as a marketing tool. These guys didn't do that and they've done fine without that. But I think they could have really even capitalized on Kathy Lee beating them up on national mm. television. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you know, they, they could have had the blooper. Sometimes from your bloopers, you can make a lot of money if you market it right. I mean, the show itself is probably watched by like a million and a half to two and a half million people. The blooper alone was watched by maybe three million people. So, you know, you're getting more exposure. And look, no, everyone knows she's kidding around me. That The intention is not to slap the thing around. So I think, you know, you can play it up really well. You know, ask Kathy Lee for a rematch. You know, I mean, there's a lot of things you could, they could have done with it. And I told them all that. Instead, they just wanted to kill themselves. And the guy's like, oh, it's the end of my business. You ruined me. Yeah, like, I got to oh, believe the website went off the hook too after that because people are going to want to see it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so, so uh, well, you know, I'll you tell you, I'll tell you my biggest blooper, Steve. It was, it wasn't even me either. It was Brandy. I, I was, I told you, I proposed her live on Good Morning America. Oh, I, uh, I had, are we going to hear this story like, again? Whatever, man. You can, you can mute your button. I had oh, two minutes. My God. So I, I did this whole thing. We were hey, done. Steve, did you know he worked for a BMW? <laughs> I, I heard, I heard that. I heard that. Do you know I was on Shark Tank? Did you know I was on Shark Tank? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I heard that, too. Oh it's virtual background. Right, so, so after it's all over, they come out, and they and, and and Tom at the time says, Tom Kelly, the comedian, he says, did um did she say yeah? And I'm like, I, yeah, I, I'm sure she did. Brandy's like, of course I did. And Tyler's, my son's sitting next to, to Brandy. And he goes, did she say, did she swear? And I'm like, I don't know, Tom. Like, there's a little ledge here. I was trying not to fall off the stage. The platform Tyler goes, yeah, she did. So I guess, I mean, she had no idea. I surprised her so much. She basically said, no effing way. And, and to herself. And like she was shocked that I was proposing. So he says, they're in the back room thinking she said no and swore. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to edit it out great like i can't believe i ruined it well you know i mean live tv is like you know you never know what's gonna happen so yep. I, you're lucky it worked out yeah it did <laughs> it did <laughs> i think all of new york saw it. they cut some of it but then it's funny because robin roberts did a follow-up on it oh the following year during covid and she did a whole thing from her studio showed pictures of us showed a clip of it talked about oh, my wow. shoes so she really blew it up it was pretty, it, it worked out pretty good. Well, and the thing about th those morning shows that they're live on the East Coast and then they're three hours delayed on the West Coast. Right. They yeah. do a lot of, you know, a live thing gets edited sometimes a lot, especially if there's breaking news, they need more time. They, yeah. they start chopping you up. So I've, I've had one segment appear on the East Coast and another one by the time it's gotten to the West yeah, Coast. So that's what essentially happened. It was, you know, live. And then they showed on the West Coast a clip. This just happened in the studio. A little 30 second clip. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what was great about that, Steve? By the time it got to the West Coast, she said no. You're right, right. <laughs> <laughs> she, already, she already contacted a lawyer and had a prenup. Room. <laughs> so it was, that was all the time. Like, West Coast, she was ready. She said, what the <laughs> F are you talking about? <laughs> hey, this is how I met Chris Landano. Uh, I don't know, seven years ago or something. We were on uh, Shark Tank Good Morning America. And he brought this belt, his belt at the time. It What's looked he? like he had just gone to Kids R Us and purchased it. Oh, no. I, I mean, had like kid toys. I'm like, you're really going to go on Good Morning America with that belt? He said, well, I'm just trying to. I said, oh, Lord. So that's <laughs> when I got involved and made it into a real belt, a professional belt that looks high grade. Really, really marketable now. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, Chris, how about that story? <laughs> One year we were doing, um, I was doing like, like sort of like an inventor showcase thing where I was like, the host within the host, but we had a bunch of uh, of like, people from Gadget Nation, from the book and whatnot on the show. And one person showed up without the product. I'm like, I goes, oh, I, I thought you'd have it here. I'm like, well, how would I have it here? Well, you're supposed to be here with your product. They showed up without their product. So wow. having having a Toys R Us version is a way step ahead. <laughs> well, 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 it's funny because that same morning, there was two people that were going to pitch live because they only had so much time. You know, obviously, my, my, my product was pretty complex. Yours was pretty technical. The person who was supposed to show up said they had just got stuck in traffic and showed up late. And they just blasted them. Said, you're not getting on now. And the guy was kind of like giving them a hard time. He said, listen, you were supposed to be here at 530 in the morning in the studio to do a rehearsal, and you didn't do it. You can't go on live now. Yeah. yeah so they don't mess around, as you know. Yeah. I would say that, Steve. They don't, do, 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 do they don't mess around, right? No, no, like we do a rehearsal the day before and then we do the real thing the day of. And if the product's not there for the day before, 
which has happened so many times, I can't begin to tell you, then it, it, even though it's there the next day, they're, they're like, uh-uh, we didn't yeah. have it, we didn't stage it, we took it out of the segment, and it's and just this, this, the way it is. This, it's a great learning lesson for inventors watching. If you get an opportunity to be on such a stage, stay in a hotel in Times Square mm -hmm. and, and, and avoid the traffic. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I mean, Steve, it's, you know, it's Steve, the money. Yeah. So, yeah, Steve, that's a great segue. So everyone believes that they are, their big break is to get their product on TV. So, so are there products that should go on TV? They shouldn't go on TV. And maybe when should the product go on TV? Well, I mean, I can also tell you that, I mean, TV is great. Of course, I work in it, so I'm a, a big advocate of it. But sometimes you never know. Like my book, for example, I, I, I've hocked it on TV a thousand times and it's done okay sales-wise, but it never did better than when it was in Parade Magazine. Sometimes it's the right click of people and the right audience. You know, we were talking before about even with a licensing deal. It isn't just to get a licensing deal. You have to have a licensing deal with the right company. It's the same thing with this. It isn't just getting on TV, but getting on TV in the right. So if your product is not really housewife friendly, I hate to sound very sexist, but I'm going to be sexist right now. I mean, the audience, the Today Show audience, for example, is a, a woman in her, you know, 40s, 50s, there's a certain, you know, and they know who she is. They know her, their viewer. If your product is a match for her, then it's the right place to go. But a tool belt may not be the right fit for that woman. And so just getting on TV isn't going to necessarily be the right fit always. And you have to pick the right show. I mean, you know, you might be better on, um, you know, Wendy Williams show than the Today Show, depending on what the product is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can hear Oprah too. See what the demographics are of that show, and say, "Oh, you know what? This is a good fit. This is not a good fit, etc." Yeah, and be ready to sell, right? I mean, you have to have. Well, and and you know, even when you write to me, you need to sell. I'm always blown away by some of the emails I get from people because they just don't get it. I mean, you know, you're trying to wow me. Well, tell me what makes this different. How does it solve a problem? What problem does it solve? Why should I care about this? Just because you invented it, that's lovely. But why do people care about it? And, and what's the price point of this thing? Mm -hmm. Those are like basic, basic, basic questions that should be in the first three or four sentences of that pitch. And keep, and keep the pitch short with a little picture. So it's just like, boom, boom, boom. I see it rather than me reading through how you came up with the idea and why your grandmother told you it was a mistake and what da 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 And then you did this. I don't, I don't need that backstory. I need to know what's, what's the deal with the product. Uh, that's, but that, you know what? That, yeah. That's a powerful statement because I can't tell you people I come across, like inventors in particular, that are so connected to their product. They want to tell you the whole story. Right. I always say, "Listen, I just want the headlines. If I want to read the paper. I'll ask you for the more um, more information." Yeah, and if I like it's it, simple. I'm going to hear the backstory. I want to right. hear about your mother-in-law. That whole thing. I'm not saying I don't want to hear that story, but yeah, right. I need the elevator pitch. How? Yeah. Here I am. Sell me. You got like you know 30 seconds. Sell me yeah. on this product. Yeah. And if yeah. you can't do that, then maybe your product is not you know something that's could be sold in that format. But you have to sell it. Boom, boom, boom. Fast. Okay. I, I'm yeah. all I'm all in, in favor of like simple products, easy to package, easy to sell, easy to move. They just, it's, it's, it's user friendly. And, and someone like you showing it on TV. Because I, I only get maybe, you know, realistically, 20 seconds, maybe 25 seconds to sell up, to, to talk about a product on TV. That's very little time. If it's so complicated, if it backs yeah. up your hard drive and it also flies around, if it's too many things, I can't, you know, it's, it's just too much for the show. It's got to be something where you see it, you understand it, you get it. Yeah, I, that's something that's going to help me. It's going to fix my life. I want it. But if it doesn't do that, then this is not the place for it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And they need to, and they need to know where to send you. You know your check. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not for the Today Show. I'm just no kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. But everything else I do, absolutely <laughs> send a check. <laughs> well, don't. We should call it a donation. <laughs> a do yeah. To, oh to the Help goodness. Steve Greenberg Eat Fund. It's just really just Steve Greenberg wants to eat. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just give me the wire number send it directly all right let's do it what the heck is it we got you gotta have something to show us right what the heck is it let's do okay it. i got one here got, chris okay but though oh. you may know these you know a lot of these products have been around a little bit so you, you may know them or not but let's let's play a quick round of it oh, no. so i'm sweating product ready mm. this is not for storage what it looks like heck? this it's for holding plants it's not for vegetables. Like, you, know, you can get you can give me a couple of questions, like 20 questions before you make your guess. Okay. 
Does it hold dirt? Does not hold dirt. Good question. So I eliminate Ham that. A new a ha hamster? Pets? Little pets? Nothing to do with pets. Does it hold fluids? But I see why you thought that, because the holes on top and yeah. stuff. How about fluids? Um, a liquid does go in here, but also a solid. Oh, oh boy. It's actually a pretty cool product. I use Is it a filter a of some uh, some type? Not a filter. No. Nope. The edible stuff go in there? Yes. Yes, and I could say it is a kitchen product. The bread box. Not a bread box. Not for storage. <laughs> Not for storage. Oh. I'm being quiet now. That was my those are my guesses because I always look bad at these. The no, you gotta keep going, Carmine, because you'll help me <laughs> you'll help me solve it. <laughs> got the grates and it's got the whole Oh boy. Does it go in the refrigerator afterwards? Let us see the top uh, again. Okay, I'm gonna I wanna try to hide the title. We need a niche in here. Yeah. There's a, there's has this. Yeah, Let's see, it's see got that. some venting. Nisha That's probably knows exactly. Exactly. Some venting here and two holes. Okay. Does it not? Does it go in the freezer? Uh, it does not go in the freezer. How about the refrigerator? I'll give you, another hint. I'll give you a hint. It's involved in food preparation. It, can I say something then? Now that yeah. you called me. Yeah, Nisha. Yeah, you put your camera on. Though. You can't hide behind your picture. Some kind of drain, <laughs> food draining. Oh, we've been well, out all day. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There, there is. But this is for a very about making a specific. Food pasta or um oh game, pasta game, game, game. We yeah. got a oh <laughs> there you go pasta you said game. it we need nisha <laughs> you know i cook <laughs> she's showing off she's a show hey, i'm italian and i didn't know that the spaghetti goes in here you fill it with water to these lines you use these two things to measure how much spaghetti this is like one serving with two servings oh wow put it in there then when you're done you turn it like this drain the water out oh man you're, you're oh, man. Jump back. Oh, That's hey, awesome. Nisha probably did the design work. That's why. Because I can tell you, my Italian family, we don't use that thing. No, right? no. This is the microwave version of making okay. pasta. I got to say, it comes out really good as someone who's used it. And it's called Fasta Pasta. <laughs> I'd, have to put it next, I'd have to put it next to my trapdoor colander. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, I, oh, yeah. Trapdoor colander. I know. Yeah, Chris got a plug colander. in there for good Lisa. Plug, Chris. Lisa. Lisa. Very smooth. Smooth. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Look out for my people. Yeah. Oh, All right, Nisha, great. I'm putting you on mute for the rest of the day. All right, let's go. You got another one, right? One more? Come uh, on. We got another. time. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Chris one. was useless in this one, just so we know, right? Chris had nothing oh, to say. Man, I thought I, 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 I thought it was for a pet. I was way off. I know. I, I mean, I, that's kind of what I was thinking. Plant or something. You're gonna ban Nisha. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I had some lot of background noise. So I'm not. Yeah, you probably right now. designed yeah. it, Nisha. Not to Don't listen to them. You did great. You did great. <laughs> okay, here's the next product. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready. Oh my God. A foot massager. Not a foot massager. Back. Is it for your back? Not for your back. Is it for uh, air control? Vent. Oh, I'm just the back. Uh, I don't think I show the back. I have to hide the name. I didn't put tape on these. What the uh, heck? Mm. Is, it a um, is it a baby product? It is a baby product. Um, oh, is it to monitor uh, of, of uh, moisture in the air? No, but you're getting, I mean, you put you, puts you, a baby. Yes, and put them together. You're going to have a baby to sleep. Yes. But the soother. Baby. Oh, the soother. A baby soother. Yes. It's a yes. baby breeza. It also comes with this little cute um, little belt that goes on the baby. You put the thing inside here, and it's like kind of like a massages them to sleep. Oh, my God. Cool. Exactly that. Hey, I could put that on my track belt. Oh, yeah, definitely. You'll have to give the baby a massage every night, and then they're 16 years old and can't go to sleep until they get a massage. I was massage. just going to say that. When's it end? It's like me <laughs> giving my cat special it, food. It, it, it honestly, never ends. It, it never ends. Let's be honest. It never ends. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got time. Oh. Okay, okay. I got another one here. Uh, what the heck? What? That was too quick. Oh, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Away. The apple holder. No, but good guess. Is it for the kitchen? Uh, no, I'd say it starts in the kitchen. Hmm. Starts in the kitchen. Wow, it's restoring food. It starts in a kitchen. Where does it end? <laughs> oh, I got no, it. Can. Is it a coffee mug holder? No, but you you guys are heading in the right direction. You All right, so there's some type of waste that goes in there. Yeah, like looking deep inside might help a little bit. I'm a fat. The track belt. Got like it's got something to hold something. It's yeah. got teeth that. Oh, oh, it's 
See, yeah. that, that's, that's a bit of a hint, I think. Oh, is it like, do you drain something out of it when no. you close it? Hmm, no, there's no holes. Works very well. I tell you, it, it matches Chris's uh, jacket. Uh, well, maybe on, on Zoom, but in real life, it's way greener. It comes, oh, it yeah, comes Mine is blue, color. baby blue. Don't confuse it. Oh, yeah, this is like a green, really. Are those spikes on the inside that grab yeah, it? I think that's part of the hint is, I yeah. guess, if you look at those, those are like spikes that grab it. Yeah, I know. Or, or, or it, it, oh. it puts marks in it. It, it, it locates it somehow. No, but those spikes are critical to its patent. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Nisha, it's time for tell them the answer. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he said to the answers before the show. Tough one. All right. Give us a hit. Um. Well, it's for. Hmm. I, it, it. Well, I said it starts in the kitchen and then it goes out. So I would say it goes into maybe a lunchbox or a bag lunch. But what's it doing? Holding a sandwich. Holding a bagel. Not a bagel or a sandwich. Too small for a bagel. Too yeah, small. I'm thinking an apple or some type of fruit. You know? And remember, those spikes are kind of yeah. really critical to its design, and it's part of its patent. And it holds. Uh, yeah, it, it holds a nipple. It's, it's hard like, showing it on Zoom. I don't know how well you guys can no, see. No, I it. can see it. No, we can definitely okay. see. It. I just don't know what the heck it's holding. A baby binky. Not a baby binky, though. I've seen that product too. That's come and gone a bunch of times. Mm. Right. That's a good one. Hummus and carrots. I don't know. No, nope, not hummus and carrots. I mean, I guess really you have to you have to guess what goes in here. At this yeah, point. that's what I'm saying. No, so no, is, it a, container, that, is like it a fruit? Is it a fruit that goes in container. there? Not a fruit. Not a fruit. Not a fruit. Um, is, it, is it a big? Is is it multiple bread? pieces that go in? Multiple what? Is it multiple pieces that go in there? Is it one no, solid? It's a, it's a one piece thing. It's not fruit. I noticed Russ isn't in here because he's smart not to jump in. Starts in the <laughs> kitchen and goes out. Well, because that's where you put it, and you can take it to lunch, so you can take it with you. I wish I could just smack him. Well, no, 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 I'm serious. They take, they, you take it with you. I just don't know what goes in it. Okay, should, I, should I flip the cards over? Should we hear the answer? Uh, well, give us a food category. A uh, food category. I think it's something you would – and that's not a category, but I could easily see – it could be for any age, but it's definitely be for a mom giving it to their kids to take to school for – Part of life. Oh, it's a cupcake holder. Bing, 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 bing. Bam! There you go, Landano. There you go. <laughs> a cupcake oh, holder. Look at that. Uh, I know, because I don't like cupcakes. That is a great idea. <laughs> Nisha, how you like me now? I never give cupcakes to my son, so I have no clue. <laughs> oh, as I awful. said, as I was saying, not for school. Thinking, not I, for school. Cupcake holder. We needed Aaron. Aaron could have guessed that. We needed yeah. him. Okay. Aaron would have said it's for the scrub daddy. He would have known. It's a. He would have known what it was. <laughs> he came All right, Steve, you're it's the not man. as easy as it looks. I mean, and like for for everybody, you know, check out the show, Nisha. You need to be watching and subscribing. Go to gadgetgameshow.com. Click on the YouTube link. You can watch some episodes, and then please like and subscribe. Will do. You, every Thank time so I do this, it's me, a blast. I Absolutely love that. have a That's blast awesome every time show. I'm with you, Steve. Thank you so much. I, I really I appreciate it. I always love you. seeing you guys, too. It's really a pleasure. Happy Inventors Day, everybody. Enjoy. Thank you. And always, thank you for all the help, too, with NBC and all that. And, and I, I didn't even plug him. I didn't even have to pay him to say that today about the jerse. Thank no, you, Steve. Yeah. My, You're the man. My, oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. I right, appreciate you, man. Everybody, right, take Steve. care. Right, take care. But all you listeners out there, you can pay him. Absolutely. <laughs> Send me care. <laughs> There it is. And now we're going to transition right into the daddy of Scrub Daddy, yeah. Aaron Krause. Does it get any better? What's going on, guys? How you doing? <laughs> this is how, how good of a guy Aaron is.